Finishing high school was very tough. I got pregnant at 17 years old. I was an adult before I wanted to be. My name is Felicia Johnson, and I'm 29 years old. One of the scariest things I've ever done in my life was to carry a child. I had to grow up. When other people would judge her because she has a child, um, because she had to grow up early, I've always been her little sister that looked up to her. Be up through the middle of the night taking care of my daughter. I'm trying to study. I'm trying to do everything that I know I need to do to not fail. One thing that was important to me was finishing high school and being able to get a job and take care of her and take care of myself. That's what it's been about for 12 years. The fact that she had a child at a young age, she hasn't been to school since high school, so she didn't really have the same opportunities like most people would have. For me to finish school, I see a lot of opportunity in my life. I have a 12-year-old looking up to me, so I feel like if I have a career, then she would know what a career is. She would know that going to work at a fast food restaurant is not something that she wants to do her whole life. It's hard sometimes for me to go forward with my purpose, you know, just because I have so many obstacles, you know. <laughs> yes, I definitely know I have a purpose. I want to get a degree in criminology. I see myself as a probation officer, giving second chances. That I would love to help people get out of, you know, trouble. Everybody needs somebody who they can come to, and I'm definitely that person. Since Felicia has the passion of helping other people, when I saw the opportunity to nominate someone for a Strayer University scholarship, the first person I thought was my sister. Criminal justice is a passion of mine. I want to be the one to, like, help people who are already in situations. So. Right. Because it's important that you go to school for your passion. <laughs> you want to enjoy what you do. Okay. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So. Well, you're awesome. You already know, girl, that I know you're awesome. I didn't, want any, you know, I didn't want any more kids, but I waited 12 years. Some of the things that she tells me is that since she's had her youngest child, Ryland, her newborn baby, she wants a career ever since she has had him, it has motivated her even more to be everything that she visioned herself to be in life. I feel that he is the key to her success. What are we going to do tonight? We're going to go out for dinner. <laughs> and you're going to tell it. What? <laughs> Whoa, I might cry. <laughs> Just the thought of it. This is everything that she's been wanting, so words can't explain how that's gonna feel. You know how you always say, how we've been talking about it for a long time, like, I can't wait to go back to school. You know, Ayana, I'm ready. Today is the day. Like, you're gonna get a full scholarship to go to college. All of this was about you today. I yeah, feel so blessed. I just want to thank everybody. You don't know why they're doing it. But they're doing it because they believe in you, just like I do. Not only can I go to school, but I can go to a university, and it's going to be four years, and I'll be able to accomplish so much. I'm so excited. It's beyond words. She's always been a single mom. She knows she needs someone who will work according to her schedule. You can balance history. You can take online classes. You can work during the day. Go get what's yours. Go get what you've always dreamed to have. I'm going to get in school. And when I get in school, I will have a career. If you come back here in four years, you're going to see a successful woman, most definitely. Probably won't be coming to this house. You'll probably be coming to like a five bedroom something. <laughs>